Gdöning, and dear uh, president and uh, uh, colleagues, uh, I would like to thank Ms. Fatalieva for her extensive report, uh, report bringing one of the most crucial challenges of our times into the attention of the PACE. The situation of the children in conflict areas is, uh, in 2016 was indeed horrible. According to Children and Armed Conflict Report of the Secretary General of the UN in 2016, over 8,000 children were killed or maimed across the globe. In Afghanistan, the number of children killed or maimed rose to 3,512. In Somalia, uh, uh, the number of children recruited and used doubled to uh, 1,915. And in South Sudan, uh, 1,012. In Yemen, the United Nations verified 1,340 uh, child casualties. Uh, over half were caused by air attacks. Uh, over 2,000 children were killed or maimed in Iraq and Syria. Uh, yet we can easily uh, estimate that the real situation has not improved in one year, for none of the mentioned conflicts have waned, and indeed the list is far from being comprehensive. Uh, the above figures do not include the casualty figures in the Council of Europe member countries. For instance, in Turkey, where according to PACE Resolution uh, 1221, adopted on 12 June uh, 2016, between August 2015 uh, and uh, to the report date, 1.6 million people had been affected by the security operations and answering conflict, what have resulted in displacement of at least the 355,000 people uh, who have been denied uh, access to water, electricity, education, and health care. Uh, keeping in mind that at least 70 percent of those who suffered were predictably children, we may conclude that the source of the issue addressed by the report is rather more internal to Council of Europe than external. And of course, millions of Syrian kids dumped in the slums of Turkey who are forced to beg on the boulevards of Ankara, Istanbul, and other big cities. Kids forced to work at least 12 hours a day for nothing in remote sweatshops of industrial areas. Underage girls exposed to sexual harassment and exploitation. Millions of kids without school, without medical care, without shelter, who are growing, growing up without any hope in an environment hostile to their language, culture, should be a concern for the Council of Europe. I hope the report would help open the eyes of the Council of Europe countries' leaderships, but I would like to warn, unless enormous efforts uh, are immediately put into effect, Europe and the whole global no North will turn into an object of hate for these uh, probably lost generations. Thank you.